Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to make some lovely spicy prawns chutney. I have here my prawns which are shelled, deveined and rinsed out. I did show you all how to clean prawns on a video. This prawns is 700 grams. And now I'm going to marinate my prawns. I have a small lemon here of which I'm going to use the lemon juice and some of that zest. A tablespoon of soy sauce, a grind of black pepper, a grind of salt, a thumb of ginger and half a dozen uh, garlic. I have a teaspoon of pure chili powder. I have some fresh thyme and then I'm going to use a splash of olive oil. Firstly, I'm going to crush down all my items to make it a paste. Put in my garlic and my ginger. And I stamp this. To this, I'm gonna put in my thyme, just using most of the leaves. I'm just stamping in my thyme I'm gonna add my grain of salt to it and my black pepper tablespoon of soy sauce to it my pure chili powder my splash of olive oil Just a little bit of the zest of the lemon. I'm using half of this lemon, so I'll squeeze the juice in. Now with a spoon, I'm going to put in this, give it a good mix and then use the space to marinate my prawns. Give the prawns a good mix and then I let this stand for an hour. One hour has passed us and you can see how nice my prawns got marinated. So I'm going to go through the ingredients that I'm going to use for my prawns chutney. I have a cube of butter, one onions, 
and I have three green chilies that I slit in between and some curry leaf. Then I have my masalas, which is one teaspoon of mixed masala, one teaspoon of hardi, and to taste I have one teaspoon of salt and I'm also adding half a teaspoon of sugar to cut down the acid from the tomato. I have six tomatoes that I grated and I have two tablespoons of puree and then here I have half a teaspoon of mustard seed, one teaspoon of whole jeera, one teaspoon of dania seed which I'm going to fry and grind out. Then for my garnishing I have lovely spring onions with fresh dania. Firstly I'm going to fry this out lightly and then give it a grind. Okay, this is slightly fried out. Don't allow it to burn. I'm just going to give it a quick stamp. Okay, there's my ground roasted sp spices. Now I'm ready for braising. I've caught my stove on moderate heat and I'm using a non-stick frying pan. I'm putting my cube of butter to melt out. Why I'm using butter? Because it will add a little bit richness to the curry. I'm putting in my prawns. I'm just going to allow it to fry for about two minutes. Wash up my hands quickly. My prawns are fried out. So I'm just going to take it off. The prawns has absorbed most of the oil, so to braise the rest of the ingredients, using the same frying pan, I'm just going to use a splash of olive oil. Firstly, I'm going to put my onions in. Allow this to fry out. My onions are done. I'm adding in my green chilies and curry leaf. Then I'm adding in my masalas. And my grind spice. Adding in my tomatoes. Give this some mix. Then I'm adding my salt together with my sugar. And when the tomatoes cook out, I'm going to add my puree to it. So I'll allow this to cook for about 15 minutes. Okay, now we can see our tomatoes are done. 
I'm adding in my tomato puree. Give it a good mix. I'll leave this for a few seconds. Now my chutney is done. So I'm going to add in my prawns to it. I just let it coat in the tomatoes. I'll give this another five minutes and then I'm ready to garnish. Now my prawns is done. To this point, if you like to have it creamy, so you can use about three quarter cup of coconut milk, but uh, we like it in just chutney. Now I'm ready to garnish this with some dania, shallots. I'm going to switch my stove off. Now I'm ready to serve. There you go, your lovely spicy prawns chutney served with some lovely hot rotis. We are going to tuck in now. Thank you very much for watching and enjoy.